Hi, welcome to HiViz. I'm Jono Stewart. And I'm Eddie Stanton. HiViz, episode two. The future is now. Christchurch has been through a lot over the last few years. A lot of large buildings are gone and large sections are blank slate to start fresh. But what will they build there? Skyscrapers. Gardens. Car parks. Slowly but surely, the new Christchurch is starting to take shape. But what shape will that be? Is there a plan? Who's in charge? Who took my lunch from the fridge? Some of these questions will be answered today as we look at future Christchurch. For the Māori in Te Waka o Maui, the South Island, the swamps and wetlands around North Canterbury and Banks Peninsula had a heap of natural resources like good water, flax, birds and fish. By the time the first Pākehā settlers came, Naitahu had two permanent settlements within the four avenues of Christchurch. When Christchurch was being planned, the people in charge wanted to make it a lot like the cities back in England, which meant lots of straight lines and squares. Even the city centre is called the square. Over the next 150 years, the city followed that plan, with new buildings and businesses popping up in the spaces. Then the earthquakes happened, and a lot of the city was taken back to square one. Or square zero. So there needed to be a new city plan. But how do you sort the good ideas from the bad ones? And which of the good ones were the best ones? From thousands and thousands of ideas all over Christchurch and the world, the Central City Blueprint. But who came up with this blueprint? And who's in charge of making it a reality? Our field reporters, Hannah and Montana. Hannah and Montana? Yep. It's time for Hannah and Montana with Hannah and Montana. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Montana. And we're at the Sarah headquarters with Don Miskell. Hi. Hi, Don. Don is in charge of designing the new city of Christchurch. And we're very happy to be talking to you. So we have a few questions. What are you most looking forward to when the whole city's done and you're happy with it? What are you most looking forward to? Well, I, I, I think what we're keeping uppermost in our minds is that the new central city has to be a people place. You know, that is really important. Lots of people having a look around. Yes, you know, like visitors or people who live here coming to shop. This is what really excites me as well. There's 20,000 people living in the central city. That's between the four avenues. I'm quite a big fan of cycling. Is there going to be many ways to cycle around the city? It's really important, Hannah, that the new city is actually makes it easier than it used to to cycle. I have a disability which is, um, affects me to like walk so I can trip over and fall. So is there going to be like wheelchair accessibility and things like that? We've had Barrier Free, which is an organisation that helps look at our plans and tells us, look, that's going to make it difficult for wheelchairs or that's difficult for people pushing prams or the elderly or whatever. So we're, we want Christchurch to be the most accessible city in New Zealand or even the world. So I hear about the Margaret Mayhew Playground. What makes that playground so special? OK. We want it to be so good that people from all around the region will want to come in. And so we will make sure that there's lots of fun for younger children. And then for older children, we've got two flying foxes, so you'll be able to have a race together. We want to make it also attractive to the mums and dads and the grandparents as well. What we want out there is a healthy heart to Christchurch. We want to make it easy for people to choose to come and live and set up in business and go to school to visit Christchurch. They'll choose us because it's accessible and it's a pretty cool place. Nice. <laughs> cool. Thank you for your time. It's been lovely talking to you and good luck with the rest of the project. Yeah. Got a big job. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming. You're welcome. 
the central city blueprint also includes lots of opportunities for businesses and individuals to contribute to the look and feel of the new Christchurch. Our reporter Jackson is talking to Anthony... Ooh, goof. Goff. Goff, who is working on a very exciting project in the centre of the city, the terrace, next to the Avon River. Talking hard, it's Hard Talk with Jackson. Hi, I'm here um, with Anthony Goff, and um, apparently you're um, very passionate about this big building going on by this um, river lake thing um, called the Terrace. That's right, yes. So I'm doing a total redevelopment of an area that used to be called the Strip, where all the bars and restaurants were. We lost that all in the earthquake, and so I'm having to totally rebuild, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. We're calling it the Terrace, so it's overlooking the Avon River, which is a very important area of Christchurch. They're doing a thing called the Avon River Precinct, which is redeveloping all the riverbanks and the river along the Avon River, and my area is by the Bridge of Remembrance. So, how long have you been working on it so far, or have you only just started? <laughs> Since the earthquake I've been working on this, and it's probably a third the way through the build at the moment. There's big steel structures up in the air right now, and we've got welders and all sorts of things going on there, pouring lots of concrete, so it's very much a happening area. Me and my friends do this activity called parkour and basically parkour is like swinging and jumping and vaulting. So have you ever had any problems with people coming up to the, maybe the scaffolding and stuff like that and jumping around on that? No, because you can't get into it, it's all fenced off. Is there going to be any big activities going on when they actually open up into the big place? I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful party and everyone will be invited and it's going to be so exciting. And that will happen next year, 2015. So great time. And we're, we're going to call this the living room of the city. This is where we want everyone to come and enjoy. So you'll be able to come and see me in the living room of the city, the terrace. A living room in the city, guys. That's it, great. Well, thank you. Sounds like an amazing place and I'm definitely going there very soon. But uh, yeah, nice meeting you. Lovely, thank you, Jackson. Wonderful. Thanks, Jackson. That was very interesting. <laughs> there are so many different projects going on and coming up in the city. Imagine what Christchurch will look like in five, 10, even 20 years time. Join us next time when... What are you doing? Hmm? What, what are you doing? Oh, my new design for Christchurch. Isn't that beautiful? We'll see you next time. I'm Jono Stewart. And I'm Amy Stanton. Put it away. Thanks for watching Hivers. Coming up next episode, take me to the river.